it'll hold. We're not gonna make it. We'll make it. Pull up! Pull up! You did that on purpose, didn't you? Hey guys, Johnny Crimson 2000 here, and welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. This is part 21, and we finally reached the final level of Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, as you guys can see here, we're in the Pillar of Autumn once again. This is the, the exact same one from the from the very first level of this game. As I said before in my previous part, um, they you know Halo reuses a lot of these level lay. I don't think it's level layouts so much as it is level designs. Because we, you know, as I as I said before, like this is the exact same level design, same ex aesthetics as the very first level. It's just you know a little bit different, and obviously, we uh, we ha we now have flood and the sentinels here. But uh, holy crap, yeah, this is the final level, and it can be a bit of a doozy. It's not that hard. I I would consider maybe the flood to be more annoying than this. Um, not the flood, the library to be a more annoying level than this one, but. There are a couple things that may make it a little difficult for you the first time around, and oh boy, you're going to see me fail uh, quite a lot in this level. Um, not so well, not fail a lot, just very bad. This is not my best run at this level, despite the fact that I've played it so many times. Um, you'll see, you'll see soon enough what I mean. But uh, anyway, you here, you just want to make your way onto the bridge of the Pillar of Autumn, as we see here. You just want to make your way. Um, pretty much wherever there is enemies coming out, that's where you're supposed to go. So if you ever get lost, just try to find the, you know, enemies, Flood, Covenant, whatever they may be, and that's the direction that you're supposed to go. Holy crap. That kind of hurt. And, um, yeah. <laughs> this is the Pillar of Autumn. This is the Maw, um, the final level the horse that we rode in on and uh, this level probably if I remember correctly this level probably has the most like Easter eggs of all the levels in this game um, Bungie likes to put a lot of Easter eggs here and there in their Halo series and uh, holy crap Hunter <laughs> how did that not hit me uh, here you just want to run away like I did <laughs> or at least that's what I do you know run to fight another no live to fight another day there it is you do still want to be careful though, though, as you guys can see there, they're hunters and grunts will, with fuel rod cannons. So you do want to pay attention to that. And here we're about to make our way to the bridge of the level, or the Pillar of Autumn. You want to take this guy out. Be careful because he almost instantly, every time, throws a, um, a plasma grenade at you. So be very careful with that. And as you guys can see there, there are more grunts with fuel rod cannons. Oh goody. And uh, I should know because I died in this part twice. But again, because of clever and much needed editing, you guys didn't see that. I fail, so you don't have to. Let's put it that way. But anyway, you get to the front of the bridge of the Pillar of Autumn, and a cutscene will show up. And I'll shut up so you guys can listen. I leave home for a few days, and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time. Human history, is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. Please stop the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless and... At least I still have control over the comm channels. 
Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor... He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! Holy crap, Sentinels! By the way, that can grenade is huge in the cutscene. I don't know if... I don't know if they're actually that big. Um... You know, it's kind of hard to kind of see things in perspective most of the time because this is a first-person shooter, you know? But, uh, yeah, that grenade was huge. But, uh, yeah, as you guys heard there, 343 Guilty Spark has made his way onto the Pillar of Autumn, and his intent is to take all the information from the Pillar of Autumn's databases, or whatever they may be, fancy talk, and, uh, that's, that's not a good thing, because we, with that, he now knows where Earth is. Don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, we're not anywhere near Earth. We're obviously on Halo, so, um, you know, him knowing where Earth is, the location of Earth, is, uh, no bueno. It is no, no bueno at all. So now we have to make our way onto the... what was it? The place? Dear Jesus, they just... Uh, the, the engine room, sorry. God, just blink there. The engine room where the, um... where 343 Guilty Spark is, and we have to blow that ish up. Because we are Michael Bay, and he directed this movie, and we want Big Boom. It's it's really not that hard. It can well, I shouldn't say that. Making your way to the engine room may not be that hard, but there is one thing that will be well, that will help you a tons. And uh, actually, during my during one of my test runs, I should say, it was one thing that I actually neglected to do during my test run, and it made things so much harder. Not doing. Um, this one thing that I'm going to do. Well, I guess I should just tell you. Um, as you guys heard in the cutscene, we have to blow up some some of the engines. The only way that we can blow them up is either by an explosive, meaning a hand grenade or a you know like a plasma grenade or something like that, or we can use a rocket launcher. She doesn't explicitly say that. She kind of just says you know like a weapons or artillery room. But uh, yeah, a rocket launcher is your best bet to go with this. Um, because it is so much easier. The the engines, they they have like these little vents and they open and close, like in normal intervals. But uh, you have to be really precise. If you have a grenade, it can be a lot harder because you you know you have to account for, you know, arcing and aiming the right way. With a rocket launcher, you just aim it towards there, press the trigger button, and most of the time it'll you know it'll blow up the way it's supposed to. But uh, again, if you know this is the first time that you play this level, you may have a hard time trying to find where to get a rocket launcher, like I did during my replay or my playthrough, rather, having not played this game through its entirety, you know, for a long time. I forgot to do that. But uh, because I'm so nice, and because this let's play is supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be entertaining and informative, I will tell you where to get a rocket launcher. Well, first of all, you can get a rocket launcher right here prior to even make it to the artillery room. I actually found that by complete accident, by the way. And uh, you can also turn around and get an override shield. I did not know this stuff was here, <laughs> all right? I had no idea that stuff was there, but, uh, you know, I, I I found that by accident when I was recording this. I did not find that. I did not know about that during my test runs. Um, so that's another little tidbit there. If you want to get, you know, rocket launchers and anything like that before you actually make it to the artillery room. There you are. And uh, here you get a whole mess of uh, plasma grenades that can help you out as well. And for this part you want to make it over, all the way over here to the end of this hallway here, this little closed hallway, and you'll get a med kit. Just finding all kinds of goodies, all right? And all by accident, I might add. I did not know any of this stuff was there. But uh, anyway, here you see a hunter as always, there's always two, so if you see one, there's likely always to be a second one, so be mindful of that. And they're engaging sentinels. Now what I do here is I just kind of wait for them to kind of do the, you know, do their thing. And uh, I kind of just come in and clean up, you know. 
yeah, it's a sleazy move, but it'll it'll save you. Trust me. The the other thing that you can do is you can just try to run in there, you know, all gun ho. But I I prefer to kill them because I want to be safe, you know. Of course, here you just want to take these guys out. And uh, the artillery room I will show you is right around here. See, that's the place where we're supposed to go. Or rather, no, that's yeah, that's the place that we're supposed to go. But we want to go to armory. Not artillery room, what am I talking about? Armory room. Just pay attention to the arrows, but, you know, again, this could be, um... You can miss this. And here you have an entire room full of shotgun shells and rocket launchers and assault rifles and all that. Now be careful, because when you make it to the end here, you will actually see an, a cloaked uh, flood. Which is not good. <laughs> um, and there actually be some more here, which I didn't know, because didn't happen during my test run, so I wasn't aware of it. But yeah, be careful with that. Obviously take them out, and you'll get some more ammo for your shotgun shells there. But uh, like I said, this is very key to getting through this level effectively. You want to have a rocket launcher. Cannot stress that enough. Get yourself a rocket launcher. Now the good thing is that you can still make your way back here. So if you run out of uh, rocket launcher ammo, you can still come back out of this room. You know, the uh, engineering room and go back to the armory room and restock up. I'm not sure if it's, you know, like an infinite amount, but uh, it should still help you out. And as you guys see there on these little walls there, there is, you know, first aid kits up the wazoo, so just be mindful of that, of course. At this point, I still have some of my override shield, so I don't need it, but uh, they're there if you do need it. Now here, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make your way all the way up to level 3, uh, you can use some of those turned over like boxes or whatever to skip this little part right here where there's flood. It's not that big of a deal. I just went there, um, by here. But if you if you do want to skip through this entire thing, if you're like running low on health, which I don't know why you would because there's uh, first aid kits right there. Uh, you can try to jump, you know, on there to kind of get through. But uh, anyway, this is the point. You press the button there. These big little shafts or whatever move out and the vents there open and you're supposed to, you know, throw a rocket launcher and it'll explode. Now, like I said before, if you don't have a rocket launcher, you're supposed to throw a grenade in there. Now, good luck trying to throw a grenade in there, you know, make it in and have it explode all in time. So, much, much easier with a, with a rocket launcher. But anyway, this is the end of part 21. I will see you in part 22. See you guys then. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more stuff from me. In the meantime, if you like my videos, be sure to find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Raptor, and ScrewAttack.com to see the other gaming-related content that I upload. Info is in the description. Who knows? Maybe you'll like my stuff. Maybe? Maybe?